Hi, Phyllis here from SouthernFrugal.com. I think I mentioned on the last video about the uh, Piggly Wiggly stores closing and the Bilo stores coming in. So this morning for our walk, we're going to take Wheeler and go down to that store. I mean, it obviously it's not going to be open, but we can kind of look around, right? All right. So here's Wheeler. He's all ready to go. And so we'll get back to y'all when we get down close to the store. All right, see you in a minute. All right, we are on our way. And uh, I just saw the friend that uh, walks a lot. We always pass him when we're walking. But uh, he agrees with me. He can't wait for the new Bilo to open. There's Wheeler. Some dog in there barking. Anyway, we're getting ready to go down the hill, and that's great. Coming back up, it's a little bit of a problem. But anyway, we'll make it. We're talking, I don't know, three blocks, four. All right, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, here's our uh, Calhoun County Museum. I bet y'all didn't think we were big enough to have a museum, but we do. Here's where we vote. It's in our district. And here's the museum with the purple martin little house out front. Palmetto trees in front. Yeah, very nice. There's some of the houses around. Got the flag of flying. Oh, you know what? This is Veterans Day. They're closed today. Huh. Yeah. There it is. Calhoun County Museum and Cultural Center. All right. Getting on closer to Piggly Wiggly. Or former Piggly Wiggly. Okay, I think this must be related to the museum. That looks like a old... Uh, I don't know what that is back there. But anyway, it's right next to the museum. And here is an old house that looks like they're rebuilding it. See, it's not going to have windows in it. It's going to have the shutters or the things that you can close. Isn't that interesting? Anyway, I think this is probably to do with the museum. I don't know anything about this. Hmm. Very interesting. All right, on towards Bilo. I don't know what kind of plant that is. This is what you see. Is that an agave plant? Huh. I don't even know. I've never seen one around here. But that's sure a giant one. I would say that's an agave plant. You know, from Mexico. Yeah. I don't know. If y'all know, you know, send me a message in the email. I have no idea what that is. I remember seeing plants like that in Mexico. Anyway, moving on. There's a view of that Queen Anne. We'll be coming back this way. This is a view from the other street. I think it takes up a lot of that block with that Queen Anne house property. That's the one that's for sale. All right, we're going to keep moving. Okay, we are getting close because I see a Bilo trailer. A truck going in that trying to go in that back way I guess all right it's getting exciting we're gonna be there in a minute all right we're going down the back side here because there's a little cut through road there there's a Bilo truck there's another truck I don't know what that is looks like Kepler I don't know they're waiting in line to unload their stuff I guess very exciting that trucker's not in his truck back there. Yeah, that's Keebler. There's another truck down there unloading. All right, we're at the back side. We're going to go around the front and see what it looks like. Okay, this leads me to believe they're redoing a lot of stuff in the stores since they got a construction guy here. All right, keep moving. All right, I just talked to that gentleman. He says they're redoing the whole store. Look at that. And the same uh, person is going to be doing the uh, produce manager. It is wonderful. I can't wait. I just can't wait. All right, they know I'm filming. They don't like it. 
but I'm out here. I can do this. What can they say, right? All right, so everything, the uh, produce manager is gonna be the same. Sheldon, and that looks like the old Piggly Wiggly manager. And by the way, he did tell me that they have a higher meat grade than Piggly Wiggly had. So this is when the store will close on Saturday. All right, she's gonna come and talk to me. Hold on. Okay, this is, wait a minute, this is Heather, and she previously worked for Piggly Wiggly Ride, and she's the uh, person that's gonna tell us all about this. Now, y'all are opening Friday, right? Friday at seven will be open. At seven in the morning. Yes, oh, I can't wait. All right, tell me. So, uh, Bilo is keeping the uh, Piggly Wiggly employees. Yes, ma'am. That is great. How long has this been in the works? Because we just didn't have any idea what was going on. Um, today is Monday. Yesterday was the first day that, that we started doing all this. Yeah, but I mean, when did the deal go down? A few oh, weeks this was or, about a month ago. About a month. And so, y'all knew about it from from a month ago. Mm -hmm. And so, you know Sheldon, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so he, Sheldon's going to still be here. Mm -hmm. So, are the employees former employees helping to set it up or is this yes. oh they are okay well we are so excited and so glad now I like the way they give the 5% discount for seniors every Wednesday yes ma'am yeah that's a really good point anything else you'd like to tell me about um, I think I know a lot about it already yeah, don't I that's pretty much it we're just we're just here cleaning up and trying to get everything organized and everything situated for the battle and everything are they redoing the meat department or rebuilding anything, or is no, it just? No, I don't think we're adding on anything, like construction-wise. Uh -huh. Just cleaning mostly, is because Piggly Wiggly it was kind of dusty and everything, so we're just yeah. kind of trying to get everything clean. Oh, you're being nice. It was a lot more than a little <laughs> dusty, okay? So uh, anyway, this is a great thing. We, of course, y'all are the only grocery store now. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, you don't know why Piggly Wiggly decided. That's Piggly Wiggly Carolina, right? Why, you don't know why they decided to sell. No, I don't. Out. Actually. Um, our manager did tell us that it was because um, something about our, the, their, their values and Piggly Wiggly's values and how they're all trying to group together. I don't, I'm not exactly sure. sure yeah, but. yeah. I know that Bilo's prices are better than Piggly Wiggly's. Are they? Yes, most definitely. Especially the Piggly Wiggly's kind of out in the country. I know this store used to be Piggly Wiggly Carolina. Mm -hmm. Is, is what it used to be. Okay, well, is Sheldon in there now? Yeah, would you like me to go get him for you? Yeah, go get that okay. man for me. All right, we're gonna talk to Sheldon. Hold on. <laughs> I think Sheldon's in the back helping them clean. They are really cleaning this place up. I mean, all the files, everything gets clean. This is great. I've talked to several of them that were going in and out. All right, we're gonna wait for Sheldon, see if he can come up here. Okay, I see the Piggly Wiggly sign is still up. We're going to walk over here because guess what they told me? They are getting rid of all those Piggly Wiggly carts. They didn't half work very good anyway. And they've got, they've got brand new ones over here. Look at this. Isn't this wonderful? Look at the little carts. I love those little carts. Look at there. Brand new and shiny. Got those white clean wheels. And those look like all little carts to me. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait. Friday at 7 a.m. they open up. All right, I'm still waiting for Sheldon. I don't know if he's going to come up. He's probably busy unloading a truck or something. Anyway, look at that. The frozen foods are going to be on the other side. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. Can't wait. All right. Okay, this is Ron. He is with, uh, you're with, you're with Win dixie mm -hmm. Win dixie is a part of Bilo now. Yes, it's Bilo, Win dixie Holding. And where are you actually from yourself? Jacksonville. Jacksonville, Florida. Quite okay, well, welcome to little old St. Matthews. Yes, ma'am. All right. All right, tell me about that meat again now. Win dixie is known for the beef people, and you, this store will be similar if not exactly really you'll really you'll really like it anything that you don't see if you ask the market manager uh -huh. he'll go out of his way to see if he can get it for you that is fantastic and i can walk here this is like four blocks from that's, my that's house that's great i am so thrilled and so you you really are a combination then of winn dixie and bilo is yes, that sort of what you are Bilo Holding Company bought Win Dixie because now it's called Bilo Win Dixie. Uh, they're buying some other stores, 
and we're the conversion team. We're yes. converting from one to the other, policy-wise, procedure-wise. Now, y'all are in there cleaning everything, everything but the chandelier, right? Well, if it had one of them, we'd You're clean it You're cleaning it, too. Okay. Well, Ron, thank you so much for talking with me. Yes, All right, they're calling him. Thank okay. you so much. <laughs> all right, all right. This is a team, and what are y'all doing? Hanging decor. Job, decor. Hanging decor. Okay, and y'all are all the way from Pennsylvania. Yes, yeah, three are. Yeah. yeah. How? So how long uh, have y'all ever been to South Carolina before? Yeah. yeah. So what do you think of our weather here? Not bad. Not bad. You got snow up there, I bet, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so y'all are working hard. We all think y'all will be through soon. Wait a minute. Okay, there's another truck coming in. This is very exciting, y'all. What are you filming for? I'm filming for my YouTube channel. My name is Phyllis Stokes. I got a YouTube channel, and uh, it's cooking and all about food and everything. So uh -huh. that makes this very interesting to me because I can walk down here from where I live. Uh -huh. So that makes it very, very interesting. Well, y'all didn't say anything about my dog. See how well mannered he is? Yeah, do y'all have those kind of dogs? Do y'all have those kind of dogs in Pennsylvania? Yeah. yeah. You all do? Kinds of dogs. You do? He's a chocolate poodle and he's a champion. But now he's retired. Yeah. All right, y'all. Y'all get back to work now. Y'all on your lunch hour or something? Yeah. yeah. All right, get it done now, because I'm going to be here Friday at 7 o'clock, okay? All right. All right. Okay, y'all have, right have a safe trip back. All right, bye. Okay, wasn't that fun? I thought it was. And I was so glad we got to talk to Ron, the, the manager of the setup here. So they did keep all the employees, so that's a great thing. All right, see that hill? Oh, yeah. We're going to have to walk up that hill. And that's when my legs start burning when we start walking up the hill. And we did have a little rest down there talking to everybody. So we'll see y'all when we get home. Pretty little front porch. There's a barking dog back there. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty. Those look like asparagus ferns there on the porch beside the door. I'm not sure. Very pretty little house. Here's another beautiful live oak. Look how big that trunk is. And see how the limbs go right down to the ground almost. There's another oak of some kind over there. That's not a live oak though, that big one. I'm not sure what those are. Anyway, we're almost up the hill now. And here's that Queen Anne again. This is sort of from the back side. All right, we're heading on home now. We're almost at the top of this hill. It's a tough hill. There's a side of another house. Isn't this yard gorgeous? Look at that oh, live oak there. The limbs are actually touching the ground. So beautiful. I'm not sure what those big trees are back there, but I know that one over there is a live oak. And there's a recently planted magnolia tree right there. That one right there. All right, heading on home. Here's another look through the trees at that gorgeous house and these massive live oaks. Great. Let's walk on around and see if we can get a little bit better view. These trees were damaged by Hurricane Hugo. I don't know, what's that been, 20 some years ago? Yeah, but they're still alive. Sort of. All right, look at those live oaks. Oh, those leaves, I think they shed twice a year. Sorry, the picture's not so good when I'm filming into the sun. All right, you know, keep walking. Look at these mushrooms. Are those shiitake mushrooms? I have no idea. Look at that. Isn't that weird? Red. They're, they're burgundy. I know they're sort of a rust color. Look at them all down there. Can y'all see that? Oh, my goodness. Ugh. I'm trying to get up under it so you can see it. Unreal. I don't know what that is. Anyway, there's up under it. Ugh. I don't know. They're pretty hard, too. I don't know what that is. I know it's some kind of mushroom. 
All right, moving on. Getting close to home now. Wheeler, are you getting tired? I'm getting a little tired. Me too. Okay, guess what that is? That is deer poop. It sure is. Deer poop or rabbit? I'm not sure. Looks like deer to me. Anyway, right here in the middle of the neighborhood. Now those deer come up from the woods way back in the back over there and come up and eat lawns. They eat the flowers, anything they want to eat at night, like three o'clock in the morning. All right, almost home. Okay, there's the house. So we're almost home, we'll see y'all in a minute. Okay, we are back home from our walk. Wheeler's pretty tired, and I'm a little tired too. My legs are burning from coming up that hill, so that means I'm burning calories, right? And by the way, I wanted to tell y'all, this past year I did gain five pounds, okay? So I've now lost those five pounds plus one pound. And I didn't find that out from my own scales because I still refuse to get on the scales, but I had to uh, go to the doctor, you know, for the yearly physical stuff. And uh, they weigh me and they said, oh, you've lost a pound. I didn't tell them, yeah, right, I gained like five pounds, you know, this past year. But think about it, if you gain five pounds a year, you know, Think about it, 25 years, I mean, you would really be fat, you would. So we can't, can't have any gain in that weight, you know? But anyway, I was very happy with the weight and I have definitely lost and I uh, definitely found that out without getting on my own scales because it's so annoying to get on the scales, it really is. Anyway, I hope y'all like this video uh, about the Milo. I was very happy, y'all, I found out about the uh, new bilo that we're getting they're going to have great meat and i know they have great produce all right so we will see y'all next time and y'all leave some comments below let me point below yeah right below and uh you know if you haven't subscribed i wish you would because youtube says i should always ask you to subscribe to my channel all right see y'all next time